Hello, everyone, and welcome to this introduction to a non-surgical back pain treatment called spinal decompression therapy. For many years now, those suffering from chronic lower back pain have been told they have only three basic options. They can take prescription medications to try and mask the pain, epidural injections to temporarily ease the pain, or eventually resort to surgery. But now there's another option, a non-surgical option called spinal decompression therapy. It's a treatment that's growing, gaining support in the medical community and helping thousands of back pain sufferers get back to an active and pain-free life. Uh, the pain that I was having was uh, shooting numbness down my legs. Um, my back was always like in a knot and the small of my back always felt like it was bruised. I was not able to work at all for uh, two months. Uh, there was nothing I could do. I would go back to work on a light duty position, but even a light duty sitting in a chair doing menial work after about two days, it would cripple me up again to where uh, I had to get, I couldn't even do that. In between my second and my third spine surgery, um, literally, I shallow breathed, lying in bed with ice packs running my back, eating Vicodin like it was M&M candy, waiting for my neurosurgeon who lived locally to get back in town so he could, again, do another back surgery. Um, I, I, I thought I was going to die. It, it brought my life back to me. Uh, all the things I was doing before, playing with the grandchildren, playing with uh, my children, it, it's all back. I, I can do things with them, lifting them, uh, rolling around with them, chasing them, uh, playing with them. All those things came back uh, without limitations. At the end of the day, when I got up out of the t off the table to go home, um, I could actually feel my body starting to mend. Uh, mentally, it is such a, a great release that I can not have to worry about where, where the meals and the bills are going to get paid. I can go to work, do my job, come home, and I feel great. It's, it was uh, just a miracle to me. Now I can, I'm able to water ski, as you know. I'm able to horseback ride. I'm able to play with my grandchildren. Um, you know, nothing stops me from getting on a plane to go visit my um, other daughter that lives out of town, and it's, it's wonderful. I could have never done that before. In very simple terms, during spinal decompression therapy, a patient reclines, and a gentle pull, calculated specifically for that individual patient, works in an effort to relieve pressure between discs and allow the back to begin a natural healing process. It wasn't painful at all. It, it, it was very comforting. Yeah, I felt, you know, in, in the pulling, the pulling just kind of helped ease some of the pain, ease some of the pressure that was going on. So I, I always look forward to getting on the machine. After the treatment, I, I really miss coming and, and being treated like I was at a spa. Um, the treatment was very comfortable and it was very relaxing. At the end of some of the treatments, you felt like you had been through a good workout, like you had gone to the gym and worked out. So who is a candidate for this procedure? Well, the literature on spinal decompression therapy says it can provide relief for herniated discs, degenerative discs, sciatica, general lower back pain, and even failed back surgery. In my research for this report, I interviewed well over 200 patients, including patients with each one of those conditions. And I heard story after story that convinced me that anyone suffering from back pain should at least explore spinal decompression therapy before deciding on a treatment. Here's a case in point. I was not able to do a lot of things. I mean, simple, walking, standing, sitting. It didn't matter what I was doing. It was just very, very painful. I mean, on a scale of one to 10, I would say I was always up between an eight to a 10. The first orthopedic specialist that I saw um, when my MRI results came back, first thing he said, the only option I had was to do surgery and to get the disc out and uh, they wanted to do a fusion on me and uh, I didn't know any better. 
I thought that that's what needed to get done, but after talking to other people, they recommended I get other opinions. I went to two other specialists and they both said the same thing. They even went to say that if I, if the longer I was waiting that there could be possible damage to my bladder and bowel nerves which would lose total control of that. I mean, and that was very scary for me. I'm, I'm 30 years old, I mean, to think that that could possibly happen and they're telling me surgery is my only option. I mean, here I'm like, I'm on a time limit. I'm not sure what I want to do. I didn't know what to expect. You know, I mean, I'm hearing, okay, this machine, I'm going to be put on there. You're just going to lay there. You're going to be comfortable. You're not going to feel nothing. And, you know, with 20 treatments, you're going to be great. I mean, I'm thinking, how is that possible when these three specialists said I need surgery? <laughs> After my 12th treatment is when I finally started seeing the results of that leg pain actually going away. Um, and after that 12th treatment, it just started even getting better and better, and um, it just went away after that. Maybe after the 15th treatment, the pain on my leg went away, and I was just amazed. I mean, I just couldn't believe that really that this had worked. I feel upset with the doctors because they really scared me. They really scared me and made it sound like I needed to have that and if not, you know, possible other things, you know, the damage and stuff could happen to me and of course it makes me feel like I want to go back and say like, see, you know, I went through this alternative treatment, you know, a new treatment that's out there and I feel better now and like I said, I'm just blessed and thankful that I found this place and that I did not go through surgery. I would not be where I'm at right now if I would have been through surgery. I probably still would have been bed resting or embrace or, you know. You know, not we functioning the way I am right now in my life. We've been talking about the success stories of spinal decompression therapy. Let's talk about the science behind it and exactly how it works. Before we talk about the science behind it, let's review the anatomy of what we're trying to fix. This is a picture of your lower back. The lower back has bones, which are called vertebrae. They have discs, which separate the space between the bones, and they have nerves. The disc is like a jelly donut. When you put too much pressure on it, the jelly squirts out. When it does that, it can touch the nerve and cause pain in the back, in the lower back, or down your legs. The object or the science behind spinal decompression is to be able to take the disc that's affected and relieve the pressure on that disc by gently distracting the two bones, the, the one on the top, the one on the bottom, creating a negative pressure inside that disc and allowing for the jelly to go back in its place. Now, I know talking to people around the country, they'd say, well, this is kind of a rack and it's going to pull me and that's going to hurt. Now I know for me it was a very comfortable experience. What is the comfort level for the majority of your patients? My patients when they come in are a little apprehensive the first time that they get on the machine. Once they get on it they all react the same way. There is a, an, an immediate sense of relief once the machine starts to pull and they look at you and they go my pain's gone. After that it's just a matter of they get comfortable with it and the majority of them sleep through the procedure. I want to make it very clear that this is not some type of miracle. This is science technology. Uh, it is giving a number of people great hope, but it is not a miracle, and some people still do need surgery. Miracles do not have an explanation. We have solid scientific explanation for what we're doing with spinal decompression, and it does work. Not every patient is going to be a candidate for decompression. There are going to be a very small percentage of patients who need surgery, but for the vast majority, decompression does work. As any expert will tell you, when it comes to your health, you should explore all options. And when it comes to back pain, many doctors will tell you that non-invasive spinal decompression therapy is the logical, conservative first step before committing to prescription medications, epidurals, and certainly before surgery. If you're suffering from chronic back pain, I encourage you to talk to your doctor, do the basic research, and see if you're a candidate for this emerging treatment. It's helped thousands of people find relief from back pain to get back to an active and healthy life. And it could change your life too.